Visit us at Eduvo. Thank you for calling Eduvo. This video, I'll be talking about images, and images are actually easy. Alright, did you remember we make a folder that called my website, and inside it we have an image folder, so we can put our images over here. Alright, so let me just download couple images. I go and I search for images, let me say cat. Alright, if I go now. And I searched about cats. I have a lot of images about cats, alright? So let me take one one image, alright? I will take this one. Let me just wait it loading, alright? So now, you can see other cats. Now, if I want to download this, I will right click and I will save image as, alright? And I will save the image wherever I want, alright? If I go desktop, I will go to my website and I will go to images and I will save it there and I will call it that right so let me save it so now if I open up the images as you see we have it over here right so we have it an images folder now what if I want to store that image over here I don't go to the folder and put the image over there right what we will do is basically open up our brackets alright now let me code them I want to store an image over here it's easy actually alright so what you will do simple as that you can type just image alright an image is unclosable tag you cannot just go and type image multiple times like this one alright you just type one at a time alright and now we have an image but the diff the problem is I don't know what is the image that I want to store over here. So what we do, we add an attribute. We said before that attribute is more information to the tag. I want to add attribute called src, right? And the src means source, the image source, where the image source at. And the equal sign says this is the place where the image will be located between these quotes is the image location alright so what you want to do is basically just put a slash and you will find the images folder you just go and click that and as you see there are a lot of images you can store and it will show up but for this time I have only one so I choose this one as you see we have it over here what if I want to store another image alright I just copy that and put it over there the problem is that the other image I stored is beside it alright now if I just put it like this it will be down but for people who would you know invite in, in, oh, in visit my website alright for people who want to visit my website they don't want to you know be confused about how images are located beside each other they want it you know basically below each other alright so what I will do is basically at the PR did you remember we are just put another thing on the next line all right why all right let me just give you a, a nice example what if i said p and i said my name is frank all right and i did another p all right let me just go and i say p my name is jeff why did this not come beside this why why did the images become beside each other while the paragraphs did not become beside each other the difference is that the paragraphs are block element each paragraph take a whole block so we call these things block elements so but the paragraphs are block elements but the images are actually inline elements they can be beside each other so did you get the point now if i want to put them below each other we have to do a PR or you can just go HR alright so this is images and see you in the next lecture this video I will be talking about ordered list and it's so easy so let's get started first of all to define an ordered list you have to make this tag called OL alright so what would be inside this would be an, an ordered list simple as that so let me just make space and in this place 
what our list items will be inside all right so let me just make a list item to just show you how it works if i just l i and i say it for example frank yeah right so what we did is make an ordered list and we make a list item so this is one of the items in my ordered list and ordered list starts with number one as you see we have number one and we have the list item so this is a list item i can make multiple list items let me just copy this and paste it on the next line and paste multiple of these now let me just delete this oops i have to go down now and delete it and now if i say just jeff all right and i said here frank all right and i would put over there wrap all right so now we have one two three so if i did another one it will be four simple as that did you get the point so now if i just go and say it, um let's say frankie as you see we have another number number four so it's an ordered list all right so this is all you have to learn in this lecture see you in the next lecture this video i'll be talking about unordered list so it's the opposite of the first lecture on the lists all right so let's get started when we made our ordered list we will put for example ol and we put our list items like this way all right and we would say for example frank and we go to the next line i will say for example je oops li je and i will go to the oops all right and we would go to the next line and make multiple of these let's say for example li i'll say apple all right so this is how ordered list done so what if i want to do an ordered list all right an order does not mean that it will be three two one two three one it will not have numbers this is the difference between those lists so how to do that you just put ul instead of ol did you see we have now instead of numbers bullets and this is the most widely used on the web pages an ordered list so this is what you might use all right and you can add links to it uh, thanks god in this course we have links but it will not be included in this lecture on the next lecture i think so now this is how you do an ordered list but what if you want to make nested lists you want to make a list inside the list for example i want to have a list for frank on this list it's easy you just go below brand, uh, frank right let me just have a space you just go ul all right now we have an unordered list on this thing okay and you can just put list items okay if i said likes likes to play football all right so this is an example as you see so frank and we have another unordered list and we add this all right so this is called nested lips all right nested list i mean so if i can go to jeff i can add all you know multiple unordered list on this list just go ul let me just go for example jeff like to swim all right so like to swim all right so this is how you do it and now you have learned an ordered and ordered list see you in the next lecture hello everyone in this video i will learn you how to make links all right we have two types of links before we get started with the lecture all right so we have absolute links and we have relative links all right so we have absolute links and we have relative links all right and it's easy first of all let's start with the absolute links when you go to website sometimes they ask you to go to another website from their website so they say for example go to google if you click on go to google it will take you to google all right how we do that it's so so incredibly easy first of all let's uh, make a paragraph saying click below below all right i must spell that click below to go to google all right so now i will make a link all right i will make it 
for example a so to make a link you need to put this tag called a tag right and and this thing is what you are going to click right so if you type anything here so this is the thing that you are going to click to go google all right but we have to add something called the href all right so this is how we do it href as you go to c href all right so this is where website will be inside so if you want to google you have to put google.com right now if i put just only google.com and now i just go say google now if i click on that there will be a problem they will say cannot get google why is that you have to add http all right so if i just go to google right of this one if i copy this and i paste it over there all right let me just delete this one and put that over there all right now if I clicked on that, it will take me to Google, right? So let me just return back. The problem is that if I clicked on this, it will take me to another page and the live preview will be canceled, right? So now if I just type another thing like Google, it will not change. Did you remember we have a live preview? Why? Because it take me to another tab. So it did the last problem, all right? So let me just close it and open it again. All right, now if I change that to Google, yeah, it's it changed, all right? So that is the live preview, all right? Now, what if I want to click this and it will take me to another tab? It's easy. There is another attribute you have to add called target, all right? All right, so what we did basically, we add this attribute and it has underscore blank, where it does basically says if you targeted this thing or you clicked on this thing take it to a new blank tab that will open google right so if i clicked on this one it will take me to google without me missing this page and the live preview did you get the point what if i want to make a relative link and what are relative links right now if you have multiple pages in your website you need relative links that will take you to other pages in your website all right now let me just make this i have this file called html dot html code i don't know html code dot html so this is the place of our all right let me just make a link i will call it for example i will not put anything for now i will say next page all right now other websites will say this if you clicked on this it will take you to another html document or html page you have in your folder and your you know website so i will make another document i'll call it html code or actually i'll call it page page 2.html don't you forget that dot html now i have this let me just copy this code so we don't have to type it now let me just make a nice style right i will say h1 uh frank Jeff website all right now i will make a paragraph i will say for example this website belongs to frank jeff now all right all right now if i go to this place and put over here this place so if i clicked on this thing it will take me to this page what we will do we will not copy this all right as this is not a website or something we will go over here and put a slash all right slash and you will find page two over here you know why because we make another document on the same folder called page two do you remember that we just did it now all right now let me put all right let me just put another slash and i will say page two dot html now if i save that all right and i clicked on this one i actually want it to be an uh another tab right so i will say target equal codes underscore blank now if i click if i clicked on this one it will take me to the page that i made but in another tab did you see how awesome links are see you in the next lecture